With the rising prices of fruit and veg, a trip to the supermarket is becoming more and more expensive and we are being warned that these costs could stick around. But there are still some options in the fresh food section that are more affordable. And Weekend Sunrise nutritionist Sarah Di Lorenzo knows what to look for mm. and what to cook it with. Hello, Sarah. Good morning. Now, there's a quandary for people <laughs> as they peruse the aisles of supermarkets these days, isn't there? Yes, it's how definitely. to avoid the <laughs> grotesque price of a lettuce. <laughs> I thought you were going to say the grotesque taste. <laughs> and no, a lettuce, I've got no issues with lettuce. I do have an issue, a bit of an issue with a cabbage. I maintain the only good thing a cab uh, only thing a cabbage is good for is coleslaw you're about to tell us otherwise yeah but cabbage look right now with the food prices cabbage is a good alternative to lettuce because it's rich in vitamin c it's got fiber in it great for digestion it's got vitamin k in there lowers blood pressure lowers cholesterol am i winning you over matt with it you're winning and me over it doesn't agree with tash <laughs> no. actually um, she told me earlier but she'll, uh, she won't be, be happy with me revealing the, on that the tummy. in some cases <laughs> yeah. but a great way we can bring it into our diet now is with with a fish taco just like I've done there on the first podium. <laughs> so I've made this really delicious um, slaw and I've got some radish in there, I've also got some honey in there and I've made as a healthy twist on a fish taco, I've made, instead of using sour cream, I've actually made the dressing with yogurt. I put some chilli in the yogurt to give it a little, which is great for metabolism, cumin which is great for digestion as well and also helps with weight loss and I've used cod. Cod is great as a fish to use, it flakes but it's also wonderful for our thyroid because it's rich in iodine and selenium. So there you have a healthy twist on a Mexican dish. And if you don't want to have the Mexi Mexican dish, you can just have that wonderful dressing on the coleslaw. You know what, you're right. It is Salt. very good in a taco. So yeah. I've been proved wrong again. And you've been liberal with the cod, just <laughs> quietly. Have. That's I quite have. a decent size Yeah, it's got to look good and what it's got to taste good. What about mushrooms? Okay, so I mean, everyone is nuts about mushrooms I love at the mushrooms. moment. There's so much <laughs> mushroom. There's a lot them. of mushroom love. I'm just Some a people are ambivalent. Love. Well, they're rich in vitamin D. They're antiviral. They're great for our immune system. They're antioxidant rich, low in calories. And I have turned that into a mushroom stroganoff. Yes, it's a oh. Russian recipe that you would actually think of cream and pasta. I've done a really healthy twist. It's all mushrooms. Paprika oh. is, is uh, paprika is the, what we need for a stroganoff mm -hmm. to give it the taste. And, and sour cream? No. No. I, well, that's my healthy twist style. I've done it at the end with yogurt. So I put oh, some okay. yogurt through it just when it cooled a bit. Controversial. So yeah, it is. And Worcestershire sauce. And I have done it to make it even that much more healthier, but still delicious with the Pulse pasta. With a what? Pulse pasta. In the top pasta. 20 of available words, stroganoff, <laughs> isn't it? It has to be up. Have a go, that. say it. Stroganoff. Yeah, stroganoff. It's from the Stroganoff family in St. Petersburg, Russia. Look at you. <laughs> oh gosh, is there nothing glory? you don't know, Sarah? Sarah, what about what's this soup? Soups. Okay, so look, soup. yeah, I love a good soup. So pumpkin and carrot, super cheap right now. I've made a really healthy soup. I left this one a bit chunky because when you cook pumpkin, it actually sort of separates a bit and it's nice and thick for a bit of extra protein so it keeps you full. I've got some yogurt in there and also to make it some for added winter health, I've just got chunks of ginger in there and I've also got a good tablespoon of turmeric in there. So there you have it, um, pumpkin and carrot soup. So My mum always used to call it golden soup. I was 21 when I realised that meant pumpkin because I always said I didn't want to eat pumpkin. Oh. Well, pumpkin. Golden soup. It's actually a she French got recipe. Me. Is it? Yes. That looks, I, was honestly, slow, I was a slow learner. Were you? Yeah. That's alright. That looks fantastic. <laughs> that looks like the equivalent to a coronavirus vaccine. It looks that healthy. <laughs> No, that looks delightful. Can you talk yeah. and compare my food to No, it looks healthy. Vaccine. Oh, it is. Yes, Delicious. of course. Sorry, now I get it. Yeah, absolutely. Avocados Let's used to, to be a thing stuff. of the luxury items. You know, they used to it be top did. shelf. No longer. No longer. They're so cheap. And I have done, for the first time, I've decided to do something completely different where I've made avocado fudge. So it was my experimentation. Yes. Now, if you look at a traditional fudge recipe, it's actually got three cups of sugar in there, which just horrified me. So I have done a fudge here where I've just got some peanut butter in there, homemade. I've got maple syrup, a little bit of stevia, I think you've had us at and uh, yeah, an avocado. Now you've done you've done and quirky, curious things with avocado in the past. I trust you. And look, but the thing about a fudge, right? It's an American Who gets dish. Who to eat it? It's, no, but you've us. got to look at the texture. Who's so fudge is about texture, right? Mm. And it has to have that oh gosh, goo it. in it. And I've also got in there some vanilla extract as well. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> yes, that's amazing. It's amazing. It's such a simple recipe. So there you have it. 
avocado. There's a reason but... you're uh, the number one selling author in the cosmos <laughs> at the moment. It's because you create things like that. Yeah, it's Congratulations. So... Thank you so much. Will you take a small bow for us just on national television? Thank you. <laughs> That's great, Sarah. You do an amazing job. Thank you.